Another one, in this video we have one triangle and these two side lengths are given as equal to each other and then here is given 40 degrees and here is given 70 degrees and alpha is at. Okay. First of all, if you focus on this triangle, we know that sum of the interior angles is equal to 180 degrees so 20 degrees remain here. After that, if you focus on triangle ABC, likewise, 50 degrees remain here. Next step, angle DEC is 110 degrees, right? So if we take a 50 degree angle from here, like this, let's call here point K, if you notice that, angle DEK must be equal 60 degrees. And then, if you focus on the triangle, this triangle is an isosceles triangle because the base angles are equal. Right? Okay. Therefore, the length of the EK must be equal to the length of the KC. Next step, we know that the sum of the two interior angles is equal to one exterior angle, so here must be equal 100 degrees. If you notice that, angle ADE is 160 degrees, right? So if you focus on this quadrilateral, sum of the opposite angles is equal 260 degrees, right? Therefore, when we multiply 100 degrees by 2 and add 160 degrees, the total becomes 360 degrees, so points A, K, and E lie on a circle. And notice that the length of the AD and the length of the DE are equal, that means point D is center of the circle, right? So point D is center of the circle. So as a result, AD and DE have become radius. After that, if we connect point D and point K like this, this length is also radius, right? These are also radius. Okay. And then if you focus on this triangle, angle DEK is 60 degrees. That means angle DKE must be equal 60 degrees. So 40 degrees left here. If you focus on angle EKC, we know that straight angle equal 180 degrees. So 80 degrees left here. Right? Next step, angle EDK is also 60 degrees, right? Therefore, this triangle has become an equilateral triangle. That means triangle DEK is an equilateral triangle. Now, if we use blue color to show the sides that are equal, one, two, three, and four, and the last one. Okay. Now, if you focus on triangle DKC, this triangle is also an isosceles triangle. So, if here is alpha, that means here must be equal alpha. And we know that the sum of the two interior angles 
is equal to one exterior angle so 2 alpha equal 40 degrees therefore alpha is going to be 20 degrees okay this was the first method now we will calculate value of alpha using second method first of all let's call these equal sides x unit and here this side I'm going to represent with y for this triangle if we apply sine rule x over sine alpha equal y over sine 40 right therefore x over y equal sine alpha over sine 40 this is the first equation now also if we apply sine rule for this angle we know that angle ACB is 50 degrees so 50 minus alpha left here right therefore if we apply sine rule x or sine 50 minus alpha equal y over sine here as 110 degrees right sine 110 degrees therefore x over y equal sine 50 minus alpha over sine 110 degrees okay this is the second equation now if you notice that left hand side of the equation are equal that means right hand side of the equation must be equal therefore if we equalize first and second equation so sine alpha over sine 40 must be equal sine 50 minus alpha over sine 110 degrees okay so it can be written as sine 70 instead of sine 110 degrees and sine 70 equal cosine 20 and then we know that the expansion of sine 40 equal 2 times sine 20 times cosine 20 so if we simplify the expression therefore there's a 1 here right so 1 over 2 over sine 20 equal sine 50 minus alpha over sine alpha we can write it like this right so it can be written as sine 30 instead of 1 over 2 therefore you can see easily alpha equal 20 degrees thanks for watching if you want more videos like this please don't forget like and subscribe my channel Take care and